Demo Reel, Alexander Bishop. Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Volume 1, page 55. Sir Liu Pei took his seat in the lowest place of the long line of lords, and his two brothers with folded arms took their stations behind him. Even as they were at this meeting, came in a scout to say that Hua Xiong, with a company of mail-clad horsemen, was coming down from the pass. They were flaunting Sun Qian's captured purple turban on the end of a bamboo pole. The enemy was soon hurling insults at those within the stockade and challenging them to fight. Who dares go out to give battle? said the chief. I will go, said Yu Xie, a leader who belonged to the train of Yuan Shu. So he went, and almost immediately one came back to say that he had fallen in the third bout. Fear began to lay its cold hand on the assembly. Then said another, I have a brave warrior among my men. Pan Fong is his name, and he could slay this Hua Sheng. So Pan was ordered out to meet the foe. With his great battle axe in his hand, he mounted and rode forth. But soon came the direful tidings that he too had fallen. The faces of the gathering paled at this. What a pity my two able leaders, Yan Liang and Wen Shou, are not here. Then should we have someone who would not fear this man, said the chief. He had not finished when from the lower end a voice cried, I will go, take his head and lay it before you here. All turned to look at the speaker. He was tall and had a long beard. His eyes were those of a phoenix and his eyebrows thick and bushy like caterpillars. His face was a swarthy red and his voice deep as the sound of a great bell. Who is he? asked the chief. Kung Sun San told them it was Quan Yu, brother of Liu Yuan Te. And what is he? He is in the train of Liu Yuante as a mounted archer. An insult to us all, roared the chief's brother from his place. Have we no leader? How dare an archer speak thus before us? Let us beat him forth. But Cao Cao intervened. Peace, O Kuang Lu. Since he speaks great words, he is certainly valiant. Let him try. If he fail, then you may reproach him. Hua Sheng will laugh at us if we send a mere archer to fight him, said the chief. He looks no common person, and how can the enemy know he is but a bowman, said Cao Cao. If I fail, then you can take my head, cried Quan. Cao Cao bade them heat some wine, and offered a stirrup cup to Quan Yu as he went out. Pour it out, said Quan. I shall return in a little space. He went with his sword in his hand and vaulted into the saddle. Those in the tent heard the fierce roll of the drums, and then a mighty sound as if skies were falling and earth rising, hills trembling and mountains tearing asunder. And they were sore afraid. And while they were listening with ears intent, lo, the gentle tinkle of horse bells and Quan Yu threw at their feet the head of the slain leader, their enemy, Hua Sheng. The wine was still warm. This doughty deed has been celebrated in verse. The power of the man stands first in all the world. At the gate of the camp was heard the rolling of the battle drums. Then Yun Chang set aside the wine cup till he could have displayed his valour. And the wine was still warm when the enemy had been slain. Cao Cao was pleased at this success, but Shang Fei's voice was heard shouting, Brother, you slew the leader! Why did you not break through the pass and see Sung Shou? Could there have been a better time? Again arose the voice of the peevish Yuan Shu. We high officials are too meek and yielding. He is the petty follower of a small magistrate daring to flaunt his prowess before us. Expel him from the tent, I say. But again, Cao Cao interposed. Shall we consider the station of him who has done a great service? If you hold a mere magistrate in such honour, then I simply withdraw, said Yuan Shu. Is a word enough? To defeat a grand enterprise, said Cao Cao. He told Kung Sun San to lead his three companions back to their own camp, and the other chiefs then dispersed. That night, he secretly sent presents of flesh and wine to soothe the three after their adventure. You can find me at www.alexanderbishop.co.uk.